Hey, what's up everybody? Guess where I am today? Yeah, back at my happy place, Cradle Mountain. So a bit of a, a midweek Christmas holiday kind of mission today. We're going for the summit. Cradle Mountain Summit is the plan for today. Just a, a long day walk. Gee, the water level's low compared to where I was or where it was a couple months or so back when I came here for my face track walk. So obviously here at the boat shed. Very smoky here today. So that's from the bushfires in Victoria. I'm down here in Tassie, so it's blowing all the way down here. Cradle Summit. So it's great short walk number 32. Great walk, yes. Short, oh, I'm not so sure because it is, depending on which way you go, upwards of a 13k walk to get up onto the peak over there. So you've got a whole range of different options to get up there. You can go via the east side of Dove Lake up over Hanson's Peak or around Twisted Lakes track and then across face track or you've got options back that way starting at Ronnie Creek and heading up the overland track via Crater Lake just over there Marion's and then across end of Dove Lake you can go up Wilkes track and then across face track or probably what most people do you go via Wombat Pool here starting at Dove Lake up over that little ridge line up to Marins and across. And the final option is to go up Link Track, which is what I'm going to do today. So this is the short, sharp, steep, almost direct route up to Marins. So we're just here, just past the boat shed, we'll turn off and then we head skywards. See how low it is. Normally it's kind of lapping into inside the boat shed. So another cracking day here at Cradle. So apart from the very heavy smoke that we've got from Victoria, it's a crystal clear day. So again, I've picked my day. There's a nice big fat high pressure system sitting over Tassie. So. Reduce visibility a little, somewhat, so it's not going to be crystal clear today. We might get a little bit of a breeze, hopefully blow some of it away. So the distant peaks, particularly down by the overland track, Mount Ossa, that kind of direction, we may not be able to, to see them today, but yeah, I've seen them plenty of times before. About nine o'clock here in the morning, and it's going to be a warm day, so it's already probably mid-teens heading for a high in the mid to upper 20s so that's good nice change the last time I was here a couple months ago doing face track it was well below zero so no thermals required today and Cradle Summit has been very much on the bucket list so we've just passed our three-year anniversary here in Tasmania and would you believe it we haven't done Cradle Summit so I figured time to pull my finger out come up and have a peek doing it solo today hence which is why we're going up a uh, link track another track I haven't done I've heard plenty of it about from other hikers. It's pretty steep, so I'm looking forward to seeing what it's what it's all about. So boat shed about five minutes down that way, and here we come to the link track turn off. So the dove circuit continues off around that way. We go on that way and that way. So on the map, let's have a look. So we're basically just here near the boat shed. 
So like I mentioned, you've got multiple options to get up to Cradle Mountain. Around that side of Hanson's Peak, Twisted Lakes, Wilkes Track, we're going across the Face Track, or back here at Ronnie Creek, you can go up the Overland, or Horse Track, via Crater Lake, Wombat Pool Track, or we're going up this one here, Marin's Lookout Link Track, so a direct route. And we'll give my Mac Pack Tor Lesser 35, the new day pack. We'll give it a good hit out today, I reckon. Second time I've used it, first time on face track, worked really well, so today will be a bit more demanding. So, link track. First objective today to get up to Marion's. Let's go check it out. You could almost argue it's it's un-Tasmanian not to do Cradle Summit. So why it's taken us three years to do it or to attempt it. Life gets in the way, but anyway, we'll rectify that today, hopefully. Oh, it's uphill all right. <laughs> Plenty of these bad boys to start off with. So we're going tonight pretty quickly. Hey, hey, hey. Link track. What a brute. So about halfway up now. Hear my voice, uh, my breath. Jeez, it's warm and it's deep. Oh hello! We got some chains. There you go. Not that steep for chains, but anyway, I'll take them. And according to Strava, it's 2.4k from Dove, start of Dove Lake to here, start of the chains. So while well, you probably don't need that first section of chains, it's the second section here, that's getting a bit steeper. It'll help pull me up. Oh, looks like a surge section as well, up the top there. Even more chains. Wow. <laughs> it's a three, four, five, five sections of chain. And another short one. There's maybe half a dozen now. Woo! Sweating like a pig. It's warming up nicely. So a quick shout out, who would have thought halfway up link track I'd be recognised again. So Louise and Josie, that's them you can hear singing maybe in the background, <laughs> off on their overland track trip today, heading up link track with their full pack. Kudos to them. So nice to meet you Josie Louise, hope you enjoyed your overland track hike. Nice warm weather lined up for the next week, so hopefully you get a good run through. Oh. Here we've gained, gained some height quickly. The chains are just unrelenting. Yeah, you know, it's got to be the final section here, Chris. There's that final pinch up the Marion, so summit of the link track at least. Very close. Ooh. It's a short track but you you pay for it in sweat. <laughs> Great track. Not scary at all. The chain's probably eh, not really needed. It's not that steep but 
It's nice to haul yourself up. For those doing the overland, with your heavy overland packs, the change would be very much welcomed. Ah, there we are. Top of the link track. I might have a sit down here. Let the, let the heart rate settle down. Ooh. Here's that turn off. She misread my Strava. That wasn't 2.4 to the base of the change. It was probably only 1.3. So it's 1.6k. And it's taken 45 minutes from Dove Lake. Well, 40. So it's faffed about a boat jet. Nice, cool breeze up here. So that's a great little track. Certainly if you want to get off the plateau in a hurry. Probably similar to... Dare I say it, Truganini track gets you down the Dove Lake quickly in a hurry. So that's something to be mindful of. It is steep, probably wouldn't want to do it in the wet. Going down. But it's an option. Another track I can tick off the list for the Cradle National Park. Link track, it's a hell of a shortcut. So we're going to get up to Marion's quickly. Not only to get off the the circuit in a hurry, but to get up here in a hurry. Gee. So I'm only five minutes from Marion's now, so effectively 45 minutes from from Dove Lake to Marion's. And we have arrived at Marion's. 45 minutes. Uh, you can kind of see the height gain. And the Dove Lake track just goes. Whoa. I really enjoyed that. Hard work, yes, but worth it. Gee, the visibility is pretty poor. Plenty of people about though up here. I guess they started much earlier than me. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not the ultimate wilderness man. A little bit of experience in the Tassie hiking kind of arena. No expert, I'm not preaching. But the guy that I was just pointing to, no shoes. What? You're up on the cradle circ and he's wearing no shoes. He's absolutely bolting, but lovely guy, had a good chat with him, but jeez, mate, common sense. I noted he was searching for bits of grass or bush to tread on rather than the, the rocks, but gee whiz. Did we use the word stupidity? Sorry mate if you're watching. Nice to meet you, but mate, bad call. You need proper footwear in these kind of environments, regardless of how experienced you think you are. I didn't preach to him though. Just had a bit of a laugh and on he went. Good luck to him. Let's hope he makes it home alive. <laughs> It's good to be back at Cradle, even though it's only been a couple of months for me. Home away from home, but it's always nice to get up here on the circ and just walk.
nice clean fresh a little bit smoky air but clears the head in mind so there's a horse track over there cradle looming large link track so that was probably the first objective for today but now we turn our focus to this monster and like I say I've never done it I've actually been about maybe about halfway up before I got summoned to come back down so I know what that first part is like top half I intend to give you a detailed look at it like I normally do with my videos particularly top half above so you get a good feel for it so it's see over there face track where that sheer kind of cliff is that's where where I got defeated a couple of months ago by the snow no snow around today just kind of make out barn bluff that's a shame that we can't don't have perfect views but won't be the last time we're doing cradle summit so we'll just focus on the actual track today show you what it's all about it is imposing there's no escaping it you're heading for the heavens when you get onto that track and we won't stop at kitchen hut been there done that and press on so the turn off to the climb proper it's about kitchen hut turn off just up here so about two minute walk Hi. so that's the overland track heading off that way so we're deviating now so face track junction right here and then the summit track 2.5 hours return up we go it's very easy going here in the lower slope The breeze is nice but it's picking up so it's probably going to play havoc with my sound uh, so we're just gradually starting to head uphill lots of people racing ahead so it's slow down people enjoy it i'm taking my time it's the only objective today so the track it goes directly up and then diagonally across so I can see the snow poles going kind of way up there but this first part there's no big part it's a straight uphill track before it starts to hit the bottom of that scree kind of field bolt I think my breath gives it away. Bit of a slog this. <clears throat> it's not brutally steep, it's just one of those gnawing kind of hills. Just goes up and up. Big steps. Unrelenting. view though what we can see of it magic you need to stop and take it in it's not a race to the top it's kind of tantalizing blue sky above but certainly the lower levels particularly where it's coming from Victoria 
Very thick smoke. Here's a bit of a steep pinch. Off the, of the boulder field, so we're now heading across the cradle. It's kind of like the first section done. Now we go across and up. Probably a shortcut, I'm guessing. We'll stick to the snow poles. So it's not really exposed. And this, and this is very, you know, as you're stepping over the boulders, just need to be careful with your step, but it's not, it's not hairy at all. Just gently going in altitude as we kind of diagonally go up. I'll be honest, I do find it a little frustrating when you get these groups of people hang behind you then they'll race ahead and stop then hang behind race ahead and stop I just want to enjoy my walk in peace <laughs> so I'll just let these groups go on ahead give me some room they seem to come in waves of people groups of people and there's a bit of peace and quiet so you just gotta time your run so you can just take your time and enjoy it Blue sky's getting closer. Again, it's not really that difficult up to this point. Yeah, you're hopping from boulders and the odd bit of open. But we're now kind of just approaching the, that kind of top, very top section. And it looks like there's a bit more scrambling to come. But certainly up to this point, it's reasonably easy. Enjoyable kind of walk. You can kind of see the see the people there. This looks like it's probably the steepest. So we're all going very carefully. Big step ups. Alright. Put the GoPro away here just so I can focus on getting up through this tight little section. Alright, that was a bit of a. It's not hairy, you just got a long, careful stretches over some. Pretty big boulders there. And now, sorry, the second part. a few of my videos you'll know I'm not the greatest with heights 
seem to be getting softer with age and that was a bit hairy my hands are shaking it's only a few little rocks that you've really got to haul yourself up through and there's a big drop off so that's and I'm basically at the top of that first lip boy the heart is racing I'm going to sit here a few minutes and compose myself still enjoying it first time up something I'm always a little bit Cradle Mountain is delivering today. So there's that kind of first ridge line that you see from Kitchen Hut. So now we kind of, there's a little dip and up and over. It is remarkably beautiful though. Although I'm slightly on edge, so we've got to take it in. Oh my see. So we're still not there yet. Got another down and up. Oh yeah. This is unrelenting. It's not too bad, a bit of an easy section here and then a final little pinch there it looks like. Still a little bit of snow. Jesus Christ, now I know why there's not that much footage. That is, for me, full on hairy. Almost. The summit is in within, within reach. It's bordering on my limit, just down there. That was. <laughs> Hairy, let's call it that. So just a little scramble here and that. Yeah, people on the summit over there. Not there yet though. Well, we, you got to earn this one. And the Lake Broadway track. Finally, I get to see looking down onto it. I'm just wrapping around now, almost, in the final little pinch. We've made it. Made it. Holy shit. So we're on the plateau. Let's go have a look at the, the official can over here. Wait for it.
Absolutely scared shootless, but we made it. Look at these views. Holy shit. It's Barn Bluff. Fury Gorge. That's the overland track. So this is looking west. That's where we came from. There is looking out over there. I just want to step back from the edge. We have a look at the eastern side now. Thank you. Now just let me get back down safely. There's still plenty of people up here. I'd like that company on the way down so I'm not going to hang around. Quick bite to eat and then we'll head for home. I'm sure the sense of satisfaction will come later at the moment. I'm just feeling a bit... Oh, that took it out of me from my fear factor. Distance is no trouble. Uh, it's just a scaling, some awkward kind of boulders that knock your confidence easily if you're rattled, can be rattled like I can. Oh, yeah. The views are just off the charts. It's amazing. Kind of helps having a nice little flat plateau here so we can kind of just recompose. Magic spot. That's definitely the high point over there in the can. There's a point over here. It's a more grassy seating kind of area. I'm still not feeling it. <laughs> I just want to get off. It's time to eat. Today. So, thoughts? It's a steep climb and it is hairy in places. Although there are some, were some ten year olds who just bounded up the rocks. No fear whatsoever, so it's for some it would just be a challenging walk, but for those who can be a little bit edgy with heights, yeah, this is a challenge. I'll be going down on my bum, most part. So. <laughs> that took two hours pretty much from kitchen hut. Up to here, two hours. I've liked the kitchen hut. It only took me maybe an hour twenty. So, good hike. Whoa. 
Ooh. Back away. Jesus. Didn't taste good that much heart rate skyrocketing. And those people who do the ridge line walk, you are mental. Time to head back down. I certainly don't want to deter anybody from doing this hike, but you just need to be know, just need to know what what you're in for. So it's it's a demanding walk. No, I've only done half of it. But there's plenty of people around. Sometimes I don't like that, but this time around I do. <laughs> Reassurance. So up to this point, it's about 6k. And I've been going about four hours, but there have been plenty of stops. So on the way up, you've got that steep pinch, dip, second pinch there, and then this, which I think is probably the scariest, because you've really got to hold yourself up. Going across this gully, yeah, not too bad. Just taking my time, letting my heart rate recover before I tackle the next section. Rushed hiker is a dangerous hiker, so I'm taking my time. Need to watch out for this stuff, you can easily whack your head. One, two steep pinches, and then we're home and hosed. Still lots of people coming and going, up and down, so... No rush. It's a bit like that famous photo recently of uh, Mount Everest. And final pinch where people were queuing to get up and down. <laughs> so, we are last final little downhill, then we're just back into the normal, normal scree. So, almost made it back on. It's got a lot of people, everybody helps everybody. So, it's going slow. You kind of group together. You know, as I'm coming down, I'm absolutely amazed at how did I get up. Some of these scrambles, and there was one just back there. It had me. I couldn't get down. It took three attempts. It's busy. We've done it. We're off the off the scree section now. So just back down on that gentle hill down the kitchen hut. Boy, this one's pushed me. You could almost argue that this lower section with the small boulders, which are a little unstable, is probably more dangerous than the top section. Those huge boulders, they're going nowhere. They're just big. Oh. 
just about to say my final goodbye to the, the summit track. What a beast. <sighs> Even looking at it now, it's like far out. That is a brutal climb. And that's just the first part. Once you get over that, there's another one, and then there's another one after that. It's the gift that keeps on giving. But what an experience. Even if you're a bit of a wussy man like me, that is well worth it. Take your time and everybody's kind of helping everybody. And that little section there that kind of nearly did me in. I just, I tried three times and I just couldn't reach. I didn't know what I was going to do to get off it. So the foothold was kind of in, in and to the left or right of my foot, so I just had to bear hug the rock and just kind of hope for the best. And tippy toes reached it. <laughs> what an experience! Definitely put it on your bucket list. It's going to be a while before I come back, but we'll come back at some point. The smoke's kind of lifting. Dove Lake's looking very interesting because it's warm. The breeze is really nice. Ooh, it's a hot one. Just head back to the kitchen hut, get some food in me, a bit of a rest for 20 minutes. Where is he on back? Some of the overlanders offloading their weight, wise choice. Look at that. <laughs> That's an impressive plan. I feel some of my emotions coming back now. The fear has kind of dissipated and now it's more exhilaration that I made it. Very satisfying feeling. Overlanders. So I'm heading back to the Dove Lake pickup point now. Just had a good break there back at Kitchen Hut. Just letting my shirt dry out. It's interesting just watching all the different types of people that come and go. The overlanders, the tour groups, the day hikers, prepared, unprepared, get all sorts. I'm starting to, to pick up the glow of post-hike kind of glow now, so the, the scaredy pants part of it's kind of worn away now, heart rate back to normal, and it's now kind of sinking in. What a fantastic hike that is. Challenging. Oh, look at that. <laughs> With every grain of sweat that you lose. So I've got a question for national parks. Just thinking about it on the walk back. So you've got chains and Marion's, Hanson's, even Link Track. Link Track probably didn't even need the chains, but that one section of up to the summit on that first kind of uphill section which caused me a bit of grief so I'm 1.8 tall and I was struggling to find the foothold going down backwards I was just wondering why food for thought why there's no chains in that particular section all the rest of it fair enough it's, it's a challenging walk but probably could do with change in some spots but that spot in particular because I noticed just after I went by down that little bit of that little chute as I was allowing my heart rate to recover just watching other people and there was a lot of people freaking out over that step curious why there's no chains 
Food for thought National Parks. You're going to put chains up places like here at Marion, over at Hanson's, and Link. I reckon that's that's overdue. One, just one section, just to get down that big step, just for so you can almost kind of clamber your way down a ladder type setup. Wouldn't surprise me if that's a, a hot spot for for accidents, injuries. Of course, I was shitty in my pants at that point, not being able having two, three goes at it and then freaking out. I wonder if national parks watch my videos. Hmm. <laughs> somebody will know somebody who knows somebody that works in national parks. Let them know about my question and put their oh, look at that. put their response down in the comment section. Still beautiful, even though it's the smoke haze is kind of hung around. Really enjoyed today. Bucket list kind of day. Alternate route. So we came up this way. Let's go back down the same way. Let's see what the track's like going in the other direction. Look at those chains. See, you don't need these here. Take these away, put them up on the cradle summit like. Everybody's a winner. Yeah, I'm using them, but I don't particularly need to here. It's not that steep. Forty minutes to come up this morning, so it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to head down. It'll be half that, I reckon. Okay, I'll admit, it's nice having these chains here on the way down. <laughs> Maybe that very top section, not needed. Maybe some of these lower ones, okay. I survived without them, but it does make it easier. This link track, it's a delight to walk down, especially late afternoon on a hot day. You kind of in the shade quickly. And you're down at Dove Lake in no time at all. So you've got to watch your step though. And here we are, back on the Dove Lake track. So that took all of 25 minutes to come down. 40 going up. Nice. Nice to know. That tracks there, that's a good option. I might go put my feet in those beautiful waters of Dove Lake. How do you sum up a day like today? Brutal. Absolutely brutal, but incredibly rewarding. So if you haven't done it, put that monster on your to-do list. That is epic. So yeah, it's five o'clock, left at nine, so eight hour day but that's not eight hours moving had a few breaks there plenty of breaks so it's still it's a big day big effort but let's get the food in the water how do you sum up a day like today 
There'll be all sorts of dirty microbes in this lake, but I don't care. I've earned it. Oh. Hello, Dove Lake. That's what I'm talking about. I climbed that. Oh, so cold I can't feel my feet. There you go, that's my Cradle Mountain Summit hike. Hope you've enjoyed coming along with me for the, for the ride today. Feel free to give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, we'd love to know any thoughts and whether you've done it or if you're planning on doing it. Or subscribe to our channel, you'll get plenty more of this in the coming future. Got plenty lined up to upload so if you like what you see it's got, gonna, there's more to it, more coming. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time somewhere out there on the trail. <laughs>